Terima kasih kepada saudara dan saudari pengusir majlis. His Excellency Mr. Wu Yang Yu Jing, the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Malaysia. Datuk Sri Muhammad Iqbal Rauta, Deputy Chairman, KSI Strategic Institute for Asia Pacific. Tan Sri Michael Yeo, President, KSI Strategic Institute for Asia Pacific. Datuk Alvin T, the Executive Director, MCBC. Mr. Chu Li, Deputy Editor in Chief, China Daily. Mr. Chan Seng Fat, CEO, the Star Media Group. Tan Sri Tan Sri, Datuk Sri Datuk Sri Datuk Datuk, Tuan Tuan Puan Puan hadirin sekalian. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam Malaysia Madani and very good morning. I am truly honoured to deliver the opening keynote speech at today's Malaysia China Commemorative Forum. It is with great pride that we gather here today to celebrate the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Malaysia and the People's Republic of China later this month on 31st May 2024. Firstly, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the co-organizers of this event, namely the KSI Strategic Institute for Asia Pacific, Malaysia China Business Council and China Daily. This is going to be one of the most difficult tasks for me because one, I have to represent the Deputy Prime Minister, Dr. Sri Fadilah Yusof. He sent his regards to everyone. And number two, it's not easy to speak after our excellent speakers as well as the Ambassador because the Ambassador basically has covered all the points that I want to make today. Ladies and gentlemen, 50 years ago, our second Prime Minister, Tun Abdul Razak, made a historic visit to China on 28 May 1974 and established relations between our two great nations. Since then, our bilateral partnership has flourished across various sectors. In 2013, the relations between Malaysia and China were elevated to a comprehensive strategic partnership. Throughout our journey, we have achieved significant milestones ranging from establishing robust political and diplomatic ties to enhancing economic and trade cooperation. I am glad to mention that our collaboration now extends beyond politics and economics to include education, culture, tourism, and people-to-people -people exchanges. These efforts have strengthened the bonds between our societies. However, there remains ample opportunity for both sides to consolidate further and expand the excellent ties. Malaysia Madani, which was introduced in January 2023, shares the same common values and attributes of the community shared future proposed by President Xi Jinping in, 20, in 2013. Both concepts advocate and promote innovation, care and compassion, inclusiveness as well as mutual respect, as mentioned by the Ambassador. The Malaysia Madani Economic Framework aims to strengthen national competitiveness by focusing on fiscal sustainability, excellent governance, and effective service delivery. As Malaysia and China celebrate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations this year, I believe that both countries can continuously materialize these concepts for the benefit of its people. Malaysia is confident that through the implementation of the plan of action of the ASEAN-China Comprehensive Strategic Partnership, this cooperation will bring substantial benefits 
to the peoples of ASEAN and China and address future challenges in essential areas such as food security, clean energy, supply chain and public health emergency. With the establishment of the ASEAN-China Free Trade Area, China has become Malaysia's largest trading partner. This relationship was further solidified through our engagement in the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, catalyzing economic growth and presenting new opportunities for businesses in both nations. Tan Sri Tan Sri, Datuk Sri, Datuk Sri, China has been Malaysia's largest trading partner for the past 15 years. In 2023, total trade between our nations reached US dollar 98.8 billion or equivalent to 450.84 billion ringgit with imports from China accounting for 56.69 US dollar billion as well as equivalent to 258.63 billion ringgit. These imports primarily include electrical and electronic products, machinery and chemicals. This strong trade relationship demonstrates the depth of our economic ties. The Belt and Road Initiative or BRI strengthens our connectivity both literally and figuratively. It serves as a catalyst for enhancing international connectivity and fostering greater cooperation among nations. As the pioneering BRI project, the two countries twin parks, initiative not only strengthens trade relations but also stimulates economic activity and creates jobs particularly in Malaysia's East Coast region. Other notable projects by China include the ongoing East Coast Rail Link or ECRL and the Automotive High Tech Valley, AHTV, which I understand is transitioning to the usage of electric vehicle or EV. These projects have contributed to the economic growth and employment opportunities in the local communities and national level as well. In 2023, we also witnessed a total of 32 high-level visits between the two countries. These visits have contributed to the strengthening of bilateral ties and promote closer people-to-people -people relations which will provide impetus in nurturing the existing relations further. During the Prime Minister's visit to China last year, for example, we successfully secured 19 memorandum of understanding from Chinese entities, reflecting an impressive investment commitment of 170 billion ringgit. It is imperative that we all work collaboratively to ensure the fulfillment of these commitments. Looking ahead, we see tremendous potential for deeper cooperation. We can expand and accelerate our collaboration in infrastructure, the digital economy, green development, new energy vehicles, and rare earth. These areas offer growth and sustainability benefits. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Deputy Minister of Energy Transition and Water Transformation, it will be a remiss of me not to address on the topic. Malaysia is committed to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050, as outlined in the 12th Malaysia Plan. Our goal is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 45% by 2030 aligning with the Paris Agreement. This ambitious goal, which includes targeting 70% of renewable energy installed capacity by 2050, is outlined in the National Energy Transition Roadmap, or NETA, which was launched last year, and also the new Industrial Master Plan. These plans will ensure a just 
and inclusive transition towards a sustainable and low carbon economy. It goes without saying that Malaysia places a high priority on green energy and environmental sustainability. These elements are central to our development agenda. Our commitment to a greener future is unwavering. In partnership with China, Malaysia is leading the way in promoting renewable energy. Both countries are heavily investing in clean technologies, including solar, wind, and hydroelectric power. Our joint efforts aim to lead the global transition to sustainable energy. And our collaboration extends beyond technology. We actively participate in knowledge sharing initiative to harness the immense potential of green energy. Through this initiative, we strive to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate the impacts of climate change. By prioritizing innovation and sustainable development, Malaysia and China are making significant contributions. We are addressing global climate challenges. At the same time, we are also unlocking new economic opportunities. This dual approach promotes growth while we ensure environmental stewardship. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate the formal diplomatic ties between Malaysia and China that span over five decades, we must remember that our friendship stretches back over a thousand years. Our relationship is built on a time-honored history of mutual respect and collaboration. Malaysia will continue to advocate strongly for peace, security, and stability in the region. In our nation-building journey for shared prosperity, we recognize China as a reliable friend and partner. The government of Malaysia believes that the close and traditional friendship between the governments and peoples of Malaysia and China is anchored on mutual respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity, non-aggression, non-interference in each other's internal affairs, equality and mutual benefit and peaceful coexistence. Together, we aim to forge a brighter and more prosperous future for all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Say, say.